Hey, welcome back to our database app with the criminal suspects. In the last video, we created the ability to search through our database. And so you can find a list of suspects based on the characteristics that you type in the form. In this video, we're going to add a form that allows us to add a new suspect. So let's get started with that. Okay, so now we're going to add a new form to our page. So let's, let's put this together a little bit tighter. We're going to copy and paste the existing form and make it appear on our page. So let's copy our search form and down below here let's paste it in. So we have a new form. So we have form to begin, form to end. Now the action should not be search subjects but we should call this thing add subject or add suspects. And let's see if we can get that to look good. Now in the center between these things let's put in a break, maybe two of them. And I'm going to also show you a new command called HR, which is a horizontal rule. And that'll create a, di that'll create a line across the page. So let's refresh our page, and you can see that we've got a form below and above. Now, they look identical, so we need to change this instead of search now. Let's call this thing add new suspect. We could probably use some titles here. So let's do an H1 at the top, and it says search. And then down below here, let's do another H1, and we'll call this add a new suspect. Let's see what that looks like. So now we got search and add a new, so the users know what we're doing. That looks like it's a good starting point. Now if I click the add button, we get the error that says this page isn't found. And so that's the goal of this program right now. So let's avoid some typing. I'm going to go to search subjects and I'm going to copy everything that's on the page. So select everything, copy it. So let's go to criminal suspects, right click and make a new file. This thing is supposed to be called add suspect. Now I'm going to paste the code in here. So we want to be able to capture all of the data from the form. That doesn't change, fortunately. This is kind of unnecessary, but we'll leave it there. The connection string is going to be here. Now, uh, down here at the bottom, the only thing really that changes, instead of doing a select statement, we're doing an insert. Let's do the word wrap. So I can probably delete all of the code that's there, and we're going to create a new uh, result. So also, we're not going to have to be looping through any rows. We can delete that. So we had something called form demo before. Let's go to process form and let's see what we did there. So this file called process form has some good stuff that we can use. Basically we can take everything from line 34 on down and we can borrow that for our code. So let's close that and we are doing add suspect. So down here, I'm going to delete all that and paste. So we're going to change this, of course. It says insert into hero table and a bunch of stuff. Let's, let's delete the uh, SQL statement and let's get a new one. But the other parts are still good. It says new record is created and uh, gives us the feedback. Okay, so let's get a statement, a SQL statement. Now we can either try to remember how to type all that out or we can borrow code from our database management tool. I'm going back to the uh, long list of suspects table and I'm going to do an insert and then borrow the code from insert. So leaving the ID blank, I'm going to put in a new person. Let's call him Billy Ake. And let's uh, give him some data here. So his hair is brown, his eyes are brown, his height is average, his build is medium, his fingerprint is loops and his glasses, he has no glasses. Okay, so I've got all of the data now. I click go, and here is the insert command. We can borrow this and use it in our code. So copy and paste into PHP. So right here under the SQL statement. Now, instead of Billy Ake, we want to put in the person's name. So we're going to go and do the copy and paste routine from up here. So criminal name goes instead of Billy Ake. So I'm copying each one of these variables 
and pasting it into the actual example below. All right, so now we have a successful statement that looks like it matches our suspects table and all the variable names. Let's um, go ahead and save this and let's see if it runs. So I go back into my tools here and let's see, I'm going to put in a new suspect. So let's see, this is going to be Slim Jim. And let's give him a bunch of data. Okay, here's the test. I choose Add New Suspect, and I have an error. Add Suspects PHP was not found. Why not? Let's go check the error. What did I call my file? It was Add Suspect.php. So I can change that. Let's go back to Form, and I tell it that we're using Add Suspect PHP. So there's a common error that occurs. Let's uh, refresh the page and we get the new copy and try it again. Okay, let's try this again with an add button. It says down here connected successfully, new row added successfully. I'm looking pretty good. I wonder if he's really in the database. Let's do a search for him. So I'm looking for anyone with the name of Slim. And let's do a search. And there it is. Slim Jim shows up in my list. There's one suspect with a guy who's named Slim. Looks like I'm successful. So here's your homework. Uh, to make this look better, the search and add suspect forms are really ugly. Let's make them look a lot better. So here's an example. I've changed some of the borders, backgrounds, and font colors. If you want to look at what I did, I styled it right up here in the form HTML page.